Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today I want to show you how to fix a hole or a break in a copper pipe. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. If you find this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week and let's get straight into it. There comes a time in every technician's career where we might find a hole in a copper pipe. Sometimes when two pipes are too close to each other, from the vibrations, they rub out and create a hole. And sometimes you or your coworker put a screw through the panel that is too long and now we have a hole in our copper pipe. Sometimes you, your coworker, or even your boss cuts behind a wall and next thing you know we have a leak in the copper pipe because you grazed it with your sawzall or whatever tool you were using to cut and there is no reason to fear as I'm going to show you exactly how you can fix these problems. Has this ever happened to me? Definitely. Will it happen again? <laughs> I hope not. But we know how to take care of this issue so let's begin. I'm going to show you two methods on how you can fix this. The first method is going to be the patch up. So we're going to begin by taking a piece of sandpaper such as this roll and sand down the area that has the abrasion or hole. We have now sanded down our pipe where we want to create the fix as you can see and the way we're going to patch this up is by using a brazing rod. The reason we sand down the area is so we can create a surface area so the brazing rod can adhere. Here is the brazing rod I'm going to use. Specifically this is a 15% rod. When I say 15% that is a 15% silver content but anywhere from 5 to 15% will definitely do the job whether this is for refrigerant piping, air piping, or water. Here is the pipe with the abrasion and we're going to repeat the same process by sanding down the area we want to patch. We have now sanded down the area that has been abrased and from here we're going to grab our acetylene tank and begin to patch this up. Here is my acetylene tank, also known as a B-tank. This is used in the air conditioning and refrigeration industry when we brace refrigerant piping. Typically, we run nitrogen through the piping while we braze, so we don't have such a large carbon buildup, but it is 100% possible not to run nitrogen through the piping and just patch this up, but it is definitely recommended to run nitrogen. Today, I'll be using the Turbo Torch regulator kit and this is the only one I use and the most reliable you can find on the market in my opinion. This setup has never let me down so we're just going to push this back, put in our tip. Each tip comes with a rating for a different sized pipe. Let's open up our tank with our refrigeration wrench. Alright, got about a full tank here. Here's our regulator and I'm just going to open this all the way. Before I begin to patch up this hole with a brazing rod, I have one hack. I don't exactly recommend this, but I have done this in the past and it definitely works. Just be wary of using this option. So if the hole is too big and let's say you don't have any fittings or whatever, what you could do is take a piece of copper wire and just like wrap it around to create that surface area and braze right on top of that. Please note that this video is for professionals only. If you are lighting a torch, make sure you are a licensed torch operator and you have a second person on hand who is a licensed fire guard with a fire extinguisher on standby. With all that being said, let's set this place on fire.
All right, so we patched this up. So what I did was keep the torch on the pipe and once it reached a certain temperature where it will melt the brazing rod, we added one layer and quickly took the flame off so it can solidify. From there, we heated it up again and we just added a couple layers because if you just kept the torch on there, it would melt right inside the pipe and that's not what we want. So we just wanna heat it up, add a layer, let it cool off, add another layer. Next, we're gonna patch up the next piece of pipe and just a heads up, Underneath, I have a fireproof mat, which I definitely recommend everybody carries in their bag. Let that cool off and you want that nice thick layer on top. So what we saw there was the patch up method, which is always the fastest and easiest, but it is not the best. The best idea would be to cut out the part where there's either a hole, abrasion, a kink in the pipe, whatever damage there is to the pipe, cut that portion out and add a coupling. And I'm gonna show you how that's done. We're gonna take our copper tubing cutter and cut out that hole. So I cut out the portion that had the hole, or if it was an abrasion, whatever it is, you're gonna cut that part out. Then you're gonna use a coupling, put it on one end. and then connect the other piece of pipe that you cut. If you have brazing rods, then you can use the patch method. If you do not have brazing rods, then you can go ahead and solder your connections if this is for a water or airline. But if you're using refrigerant piping, you must braze your lines. Once again, it is good practice to run nitrogen through your pipes while brazing because as you've seen while I was brazing, we had that whole buildup on the outside of the pipe before I sanded it down. The same thing occurs on the inside and this could cause future problems down the road. So this is only required when brazing. If you are soldering, then you don't need to do the nitrogen because that does not happen while you solder. I will leave a link in my description on how to braze copper pipe and how to solder copper pipe. And the only thing that I didn't show in the brazing video was running nitrogen through the pipes. But once again, you understand the importance of that. And if anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.